So welcome back to another Moto View episode. This is an F1 2018 career mode and it's going to be around about China for this one. So it's race number three and the past two races at Australia and Bahrain have been pretty horrible so far. No points and really struggling with this game. So you know what? Fingers crossed. Touch wood that I can finally make it into the points. So we're going to be doing a lot of a practice program. We're going to be trying to get this out. And you know what? I feel pretty confident for this. So start the lap off, going into turn one. It's hard on the brakes. Car drifting out wide. So this is a start of a race run I'm going to be doing. And already up in the green, and then slipping back into red. So that's typical. The lap starts off well and then just goes away. But then again, towards the end of the lap. I managed to bring it back and actually did really well, so I actually held it. Up. Jeff Gavin, Gavin is a bit of a crowd as well, so always really good. Got past the second lap as well, got a green in that, so round right about for the final corner, lap number three, and we are going to nail it. Right now, you've nailed what we asked for. Keep it up. Good stuff, Jeff, good stuff. Always giving us a bit of encouragement, so moving on to another final lap run for this one and the clouds have come over for this so we'll just go through the practice programs go through them very fast already done fp1 past some programs there track acclimatization um tire strategy as well which i've been horrible at so far but managed to pass that one so we're good at the qualifying race or the qualifying sim and so far so good already in the green come towards the end of the lap back into the red but back into the green and we are going to pass that okay test complete and that was a very good job indeed we got a lot of valuable information out of that absolutely I quick know. look at the classification at the end of the session then here are your top three bottas fettel and kimi raikkonen practice times are on the board then but no points are on offer just yet we'll be back with more f1 action soon good day today tell us about it from your perspective you really went all out in practice today. Are you testing new components? Well, I could be, but I don't think I am. <laughs> we don't have any new components in the car. We're still waiting until the European races for that. Ah, so, Sabre so Rep increased, always good. It's the start of the season. How do you think things are going to go for you? <sighs> if it was my own answer, I'd probably say horribly, but I've got to answer one of these questions, so we'll turn it up. We'll do well. Keep increasing his salary right. reps. Well, that's everything. No, I, I think she's kind of bored of me. She doesn't want to talk to me at all. I don't bother her. I'd get bored of me as well. You know what? So getting some valuable resource points for the for the engine upgrades, for the chassis upgrades, for everything. And wow, Salva have been really happy with the way I performed in practice. So. Everything's increasing sportsmanship, showmanship is kind of the same. We're going to do practice number three now and we're going to see if we can pass the ERS one because I failed that in practice one so I thought I'm going to try this one again just to see if I can pass it. And when I started it, it started, started raining so I thought you know what, I've got to go for it anyway. Also once it can happen, I can fail it so I start the lap off. Already in the red, so it's not looking too good, but not too bad. Going into turn one, it's sort of in the green, in the red. And further around the lap, turning it on. In the green quite well, up on the time as well. Before it floats up, in the purple, so this lap is going so well at the moment. Bit of a snake coming out the final corner, across the lane, and we pass the ERS. Test simulation, so we've passed that as well. We've passed everything so far this weekend. I can't believe it. So we're just going to jump straight into qualifying. We've got some nice resource points. We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. Looking at this field today, Ants, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance, maybe run the harder of the available compounds and save some of the grippy tyres for the race tomorrow? <laughs> Okay, Anthony Davidson's clearly falling out with David Croft and doesn't even want to speak at all. <laughs> That's brilliant, just completely blacked him. So, moving into qualifying, and yeah, 
gonna fast forward some time. I was actually feeling quite good about this bluff and I've been so far off the pace during it, Melbourne and Barry, but this has been feeling good. I've got a good setup. I finally feel like I've touched the game a little bit more and we've passed the, the practice programs so here we are in the first flying lap of qualifying for the render and we've got Bottas all over the back of us, typical. And he put something inside to it, I thought, you know what, not happening. Touched him a little bit, so all nice, a wee bit of a kiss inside the car, he comes back at me down the street. Me and him are going to have a, such a rivalry when I get into a better car. So I don't feel like it affected my lap too much, so I cross the line and we set a lap in. And it's fairly reasonable. So it's three seconds off what Ross has said. I'm rolling down the field, you've dropped to P13. But instead of going back into the pitch, I thought I'd continue on in the next lap because I thought there's some more in the car and already we're way up, nearly a second up on that and we improved massively to go to 13. Just behind our teammate, ahead of Sir Rockin. Absolutely brilliant. So we have the pace to not be last, which is <laughs> really quite good because I'm sick and tired of starting last of the race. So we're going to go out for a final one run in Q1. The final corner to start our, our last run, and already we're up. So I know it doesn't really mean nothing that cost our price line, but then again, go to turn one, we'll lose it. Run it a bit wide, but further in the lap, we're already four turns up, and we go P16. Okay, that's okay. You're into P16, into 16th place. Well, what we'll do is we'll go, we'll learn from what we've done first run and we'll go for a second lap on this run and we will try and see if we can improve. So I lowered the fuel mix for this one to get my, make my car a little bit lighter and it just didn't seem to stick to the track. I feel like I might have nailed my last lap quite well so trying to get anything else out of the car was quite difficult. So it's close, it's close when they're in the lap and we've lost a lot of time. So well we're 18, we're 16 so far. And that's not too bad, I'm quite happy with that. But then again, we dropped down to 18th, but only a tenth off of our teammate and two and a half seconds off pole position. That is so much closer than where, where, where we were in Barry. I was horrible in Barry. I was three seconds off my teammate in Barry. I can't believe it. So, Charles Leclerc beating us, beating us in qualifying. No surprise there, so. We're losing the team rivalry, but it's okay. I feel like I can bring it back if we're going to start doing this well. Resource points are going up, 120 there, and I cannot wait to get to the end of a back out and we we'll go straight into Europe because I'm, we're going to just improve this car so, so much. So just go through all everything there. Well done, very solid results. You're looking good for the race. Ah, cheers. She knows we're looking good for the race. I was feeling good for the race. So here we go. It's race time in F1 2018 round about China. Ever since the Sauber of Felipe Massa passed Jensen Button into turn one at the very first Chinese Grand Prix in 2004, Shanghai has consistently provided close racing and extraordinary memories. It's where Lewis Hamilton effectively lost the title in his rookie year, and it's where Nico Rosberg claimed Mercedes' first win of the modern era in 2012. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Let's talk briefly about Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Wow. Bottas has all scored one point. To go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we Kimi have Kimi become Hamilton, a bit of a qualifying Stafford, wizard, not Valtteri just in the game, Bottas, but in real life as well. And Alonso, Ricardo, Sainz, Hulkenberg, and Roman Grosjean, Magnussen, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Perez. 
Van Dorn, Hartley, Charles Leclerc, and Iceman. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not last. I'm so happy about that. Off the grid. So now both Alfa Romeo Sabres have beaten the so Williams cars. And here we go. It's going to be race time. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Don't worry, Jeff. I never let you down. So, gonna fire everything all up to Rich Mix and gonna get an overtake on DRS and the lights out and away we go! And lots of wheel spin off the line and we've got Stroll alongside us, well past us, but we've still got some rocket by us, which is quite good. And in turn one, I thought I was gonna lose my front wing there, I was really, really dead, but I thought, keep it tight, get past a few cars, bang wheels with Van Dorn. I was trying to go around the side of Perez and others, but I just could not keep the grip, so. Once again, side by side with Van Dorn. That start is okay, now stay alert for threats around you. And lay on the brakes, and oh, hardly nail took us out, but then again, Perez leaves some room, but hit the sidewall to sidewall on the tyres. But managed to hold it, we're ahead of Perez and the rest of the field, or ahead of Ocon and the rest of the field, up to 11th place. Started 18th, dropped into 19th, now 11th. We have a chance now. We have such a good chance of actually scoring our first points in F1 2018. I don't want to speak too soon because I could throw it away but it's looking good so far. So further in lap one, Gaz is on us down the long back straight and I could just tell he was going to go for a move here. I could feel him already coming alongside me but then again got to the end of the back straight into the break zone and there's nowhere to be seen so our car seems Pretty good so far. Seems good in the corners. Seems brilliant in the straights. Move on to lap number three now. Race officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available. So I did notice I was catching Hockenberg and the rest, but I think they were on the ultra softs and they were really, really struggling. We were on the softs and it was doing really well. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. So they've dived off into the pits now. I thought. Time to get some fast laps in. We've got some clear space. On to lap number five. We've got some cars coming out of the pits. We're going to have Sebastian Vettel come out behind us. We're in front of a Ferrari. Last round, we passed, Mercedes, we passed Bottas in a Mercedes. This round, we're ahead of Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari. Could not believe my luck when that happened. So looking behind me, it's seized. I've got quite a gap on him. But within half a lap, he's already back on me. Lost the back end a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad though. It's already come alongside me. So I thought I'd let him go, but then he locks up, goes wide, so I get the cut back on him. I was kind of wanting him to go ahead of me for a section so I could get a DRS along the back straight, but it's okay. He's going to get past me anyway, so I thought, no matter what, I'll punch up the DRS, the engine up to the French fuel mix. Vettel's got. DRS open alongside me, but then again, he's not going that fast. Lay on the brakes, he locked up again, heading to me, push both of his wide. Got to the final corner, ran a little bit wide, but I think that might have given us a good run out of the final corner, which was a complete accident along the whole street. Leading our teammate by 3.4 seconds. And to lead to Kimi Raikkonen, who's in the pitch, he's just come out, we've just passed Sebastian Vettel into the lead of the Chinese at Grand Prix. Who would have thought that would have happened in Season 1, Race 3, and we've not even scored a point so far this season, and we're now in the lead of the race. I know they've stopped and we haven't yet, but this is massive. But Vettel isn't going to give up, he's going to come back at us, but so far, we're still holding the first position. Can't believe how lucky we've got. So I've got Sebastian Vettel over the back of me, up the inside of me, and he leaves me no room, understandably. But then again, coming into the back straight, we're going to have DRS, understanding to hell, cannot hold the line at all. But rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes' time. Rain in 10 minutes. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Okay, so now I start thinking, if we're having rain coming and we're going to go to the mediums then the mediums might not work so I was pondering that for a bit then Kimi Raikkonen came out of nowhere, completely forgot I had him behind me 
let him go again because I just wasted more time if I'd start battling with him. So I knew he would come fly past me, DRS open, and then away he's gone. So I just tried to stick on to the back of him as much as I could, get a bit of DRS and cross start finish line. The gap to the meter is 10.6 seconds. So Vettel passed me a couple of laps ago and he's already pulled that 10 second lap, 10, 10 second gap. So I thought about it. I thought, you know what? We're going to pass this lap or next lap. And I thought, copy. Ultra softs for the next stop. If we go for the mediums, then it could work out really badly for us if the rain comes down. So I thought, I'll take a gamble. We'll go for the ultra softs. We'll go into the pits, and fingers crossed that we'll get some five, six laps or so on the ultra softs. Get some fast laps in, pull away from the rest of the field. Maybe try and fight with inside the middle of the top ten. Go go go! So fingers crossed it all works out. We actually had such a really good stop. We pulled ahead of everyone else. Gas on the bank. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. So close to crossing that white line in the exit, I thought I was getting a penalty for that. So along the back straight further in that lap, Perez stopped a lap earlier, so he got the jump on us and nearly crashed in the back of him. A heart and mouth moment. Love the way. Managed to get, managed to get a grip, stayed ahead of Perez, and I think we're going to try and pull away now. I need to stop cutting that corner. I really do. Gap to car in front is 14.2 seconds. So I've just come, Bottas coming out of the pits, head of Bottas again. Bottas must be the second the sight of the back of my car. He was behind me in Bahrain, behind me again in China. Gap to the car ahead is 4.5 seconds. So we closed up massively on Carlos Sainz since we come out of the pits. We came out and it was Let's keep ahead of the conditions. The track is getting wetter. I recommend you stay out for now though. We'll be much slower if we move on to Inters this early. Our gap to the car in front is 32.8 seconds. Oh, oh. Race coming down. Ultra soft are kind of looking good. Bottas up the inside of us. Hold around the outside. Got the inside for the next corner. He's so close that he will not give up. But we managed to hold it. But he will have DRS. Okay, looks like you're running some slightly warm rubber at this point. Should still have a fair amount of grip left, but be mindful, it's going to start falling away. Come on, Jeff, that is not what I need to hear right now. Got getting attacked by both Mercedes, Bottas up the outside, Hamilton round the outside, stomach to hold it. Hamilton scores. Confirming that we'll be fitting the intermediate tyres. Okay, so I thought this, it's time to go for it. This was such a good battle. Late on the brakes, Hamilton has no chance of keeping up the inside of me. So I managed to get back ahead of him just before we dive into the pits to go get our intermediate tyres. Ah, oh, that god, there's no gravel there. I nailed down Lewis Hamilton from 2007. Would have beached it into the gravel trap going into the pits. But thankfully, we put tarmac there. So switching over to the intermediates. Good stop. My guys are absolutely on fire this race. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. So come out of the pits. The radar's showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this rain. No way, Jeff. Really? We might have sunny spells. That is not what I want to hear. So further in the racetrack, come out and we're ahead of Ricardo. And managed to overtake Ricardo. Such close racing. Ricardo is behind us, Bottas is behind us. This is actually all for position. And then further round, we have Bottas overtaking Ricardo into turn one. They're going to chase me down, so we came out of the pits in fourth place. And I, can't, I don't know how this has happened. We've come out of the pits, we're ahead of a Red Bull, we're ahead of a Bottas again for the second race in a row. A new strategy is available on the MFT. Are you, what? Jet, no way. Are you kidding me on? You're trying to make me change strategy before we start the final lap. I said it at Melbourne. I, I swear he's trying to sabotage me and 
is not being a team player. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, Jeff. Shut up. We need to win that. We need to get fourth place. And Bottas drives so hard. He's in fifth. We're in fourth. Ricardo's just behind him. But we hold in, hold on into the final hairpin. Coming into the final corner. Bottas does not try up the inside. Rackin has won the race. Vettel second. Hamilton third. And we're fourth across the line. And we are fourth. Nice work. He did well today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. <laughs> the boss will be happy. He'll be doing backflips. He'll be so happy he'll be having heart attacks. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari, on the top step once more. I think I'm reckon that's the practice is kissing of trophies because he completely missed that. What a race, what a race. We have managed to finish fourth place, we finally had a good car. We're not at the points. Justifiable. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the lead at the top has come down after a poor result for our points leader. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I have to give it to Iceman. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. I love Ferrari that. moved to the top of the table. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Sauber, whose good result moves them further up the championship. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. I love Anthony Davidson. That is the second time out of three races that he's given me driver of the day. Gotta love him for that. And look at that result, we've moved up to ninth in the championship. Good day today. Tell us about it from your perspective. Fantastic day, Claire. You have your team absolutely must be no idea. ecstatic with how you're performing. Oh yeah, I can imagine so. I mean we've just gone and got fourth place. Kicked a teammate, first behind the two Ferraris and Mercedes. They are gonna be over the moon. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? <laughs> All out, balls out nothing else and just pure pure craft did you feel comfortable in the wet weather today it felt fantastic at that nothing could put a good scotsman down in wet conditions that's what always happens we're just good and wet we're not very good in dry we've not seen much development progression for your car recently why is that waiting for waiting for europe waiting for europe so i think i get a bit of a bad rip yep Salva are not happy with my answer there. Appreciate your time. Not surprised because I kind of beat them down for that. But then again, I'm holding off for, for Europe. Could not believe we managed to get fourth place in there. Good strategy. Forward thinking actually helped us out there. I, we, we probably would have finished in the points. We probably would have finished around about ninth or 10th if we hadn't done that. The early pit stops worked. Going over to the ultra softs instead of the mediums before the... Rain came down and then switching early over to the Inters, it kind of worked out well for us even though Hamilton jumped us but then again he's in a Mercedes. So building up some resource points, gaining reputation in all the teams, we are going to be smashing it for this career mode. We're going to be in Baku next, we're going to be doing an invitation challenge so that's been another MotoView video F1 2018 career mode around about China, round 3 we've got 4th place, check out our other videos give the video a thumbs up, give us a subscribe to help the channel and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.